special toasted sandwiches known as paninis have technically been around since the 16th century, but um, we kind of like to think we're the panini <laughs> authority at Corner Bakery. Day. This is Courtney Smith. She is with the um, Corner Bakery Cafe here in Austin to talk about how you can make that signature signature sandwich without a lot of hard work, which right. is always good. Yes, it is. And we start out at Corner Bakery breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We have paninis. We always start out with our sourdough bread. Okay. This bread is great because it's dense and it actually holds the heat nicely uh -huh. and it actually just that sour flavor really kind of adds a nice touch to the flavor of the sandwich. So that's the perfect bread for the panini. It is. Okay. It is. Now I'm adding some softened butter here. Okay. This butter really just adds additional flavor to the sandwich along with that nice little crunch from grilling it. Okay. So it toasts it nice golden brown all around. If you want to use this at home you could do maybe some spray olive oil. Perfect. Like some Pam or even brush it with a little bit of olive oil to lighten it up. Okay. I'm going to put a couple of slices of provolone cheese. Our provolone cheese actually is really thin because we're actually going to do two different layers of it. Okay. So we're not only going to have it on the bottom, we're going to have it on the top as well. And this nice little artichoke Asiago cheese spread. Nice. Oh my gosh, it's fantastic. And it has Asiago in it as well as artichoke hearts. So if you wanted to do this at home, my recommendation would be get your favorite artichoke dip. Okay. Cut up some basil, maybe a zest of lemon in there, mm -hmm. add some roasted peppers, Asiago cheese, maybe even some Italian cheeses. Put it in there. And there you go. And you're yeah. touching on a lot of fresh ingredients too. Is we that something fresh. that you have over there? We have over 40 different fresh ingredients that come to all of our cafes every single day. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put sliced turkey on here. This is smoked turkey. If you want to use chicken at home, you can. It's going to be just as fantastic. And is this something for lunch or dinner? Lunch or dinner, yeah. Oh, okay. We always like to put on a lot of nice green spinach. Um, if you're going to use whole spinach at home, make sure you get the stems off of it. Okay. But this is going to add a little bit of nutritional value, obviously, and a great crunch. And you mentioned that too. Is there, you said there's a way that you can actually go on the website and figure out what you're going to be getting into, what kind of damage, I guess. Yes. We have over 100 different items that are under 600 calories. Okay. So you can partner any of our sandwiches, soups and salads, that kind of stuff. But go to our calorie calculator and see what. Maybe if you're watching your calories, yeah. maybe what you're actually eating and what you want to do next time, better or different. Or you could try it and then watch your calories oh, yeah. afterwards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead, take this one Get off out of your here. Way. Okay. We had a little bit of cheese explosion. Like I said, you're not going to miss good. out on cheese. Yeah. This, this is a great cheesy sandwich. So okay. let's talk a little bit about this panini grill. At home, a lot of people don't have panini grills. Yeah. So use a George Foreman grill. They're great. You could also mm -hmm. put it in your iron skillet, yep. make it like a grilled cheese, have it all melted and toasted in there, or even on a grill outside. Just make sure that you watch the temperature of your grill. And you made this in less than five minutes, and that's always good when you're in a pinch. Yes. Which uh, we are, by the way, so we got to go. But, by the way, uh, Corner Bakery Cafe is in Austin, in North Austin, we right? We have two different locations. One off of 110 North um, I-35 and okay. one at 9761 Great Hills Trail. Okay, we didn't talk about the soup, but you can still see it on the oh. menu. What's that soup, by this the way? This is our lemon chicken orzo soup. It's new, it's fantastic, has a great little zing of lemon along with that chicken and orzo. Paired nicely on a day like today. Exactly. So let's head over to Mars because, you know, rainy weather kind of makes me want to have a soup and sandwich, too. Yeah, why not? It's a little cool out there, too, <laughs> here this afternoon.